What's going on guys? Uh, today I got a quick review for overclocking the GTX 680. Um, this car is a little different from cards in the past because instead of directly setting the GPU clock that will run in 3D games, you set what's called the boost clock. Now this right here is the base clock which is 1006 and the default boost clock is like 1058 and the when it runs the boost clock is whenever it is under this right here the power target um, whenever the power target is how much uh, wattage it's pulling from the wall so in a particularly stressful part of the game where it's gonna pull a lot of wattage it's gonna lower the clock so what you can do is you can come and raise the power target now by raising the power target you are going to reduce the amount that the card will down clock down to your base clock. Um, by putting it at 132% right there, it's pretty much never going to down clock because of the power target, because it won't reach that power target. Um, it will down clock because of heat. Uh, it down clocks at 70C, and then it down clocks again somewhere in the, the 80s. Um, so keeping it uh, a little lower temperatures with a custom fan curve can be beneficial although honestly uh, anything under 80 C is going to be fine because the down clock is pretty minimal um, but yeah you can set your own fan curve if you uh, if you desire which I run my own fan curve because uh, this card has a particularly quiet uh, stock cooler which is nice also whenever it comes to this uh, power target say you want to set a you know your maximum overclock but you would rather <clears throat> it not run that overclock all the time what you can do is lower your power target and it will only run your overclock whenever the power consumption is below your target so like okay I'm running head and benchmark right now and it's fairly I mean it's pretty efficient really I mean I'm running 1303 on the core and it's only using like it went up to 110 percent so I can make this which also another thing to note is whenever it hits 70 C that's gonna shave off 13 to 23 megahertz in games it usually only shaves off 13 the heaven benchmark sometimes it shaves it down to 1280 for some reason um, but okay say I would rather get you know take it a little easier on my card but still have it overclock whenever it can without too much stress I can put my power target back this will keep it at the factory um, power consumption so anytime that it goes over a hundred percent it will down clock it to keep it under that or if I want it to run you know if I want it to run my overclock all the time I can just raise this up and it will it will just it will hold it all the time and it won't down clock so to me a lot of people are complaining about that honestly I don't really see what the big deal is because if you don't want it to down clock all you have to do is raise your power target and the overclock will work just like uh, the overclocks on the old style cards other than the thermal uh, down clock which like I say is minimal see it went down to 1293 now that it hits 70 C um, it's not really a big deal in my opinion but you know some people are a little picky when it comes to that kind of stuff uh, I mean it's really it's really pretty easy to overclock this card there's not a whole lot else to say. I mean, the memory is self-explanatory. That just I adding 425 megahertz to my memory clock. Um, you just raise that until you start artifacting, and the GPU. I find the uh, the clock for me didn't really result in artifacts. It's just whenever I got too high, eventually it would crash the driver during the heaven benchmark. So I don't know if that's a driver thing or if that's just the way these cards behave whenever they're pushed too far but my card 
I have played many, many hours of Battlefield at this clock, and it is 100% stable at this clock. And uh, I am I'm pretty impressed with this card, and uh, so far I'm liking it pretty good. The overclocking really isn't that difficult as people, you know, some people are making it out to be. But anyway, I hope this guide helps you. And uh, if you do like the video, please uh, remember to like and favorite. Um, it helps me out. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.